Hello, Pigeon at Delhi International Airport here. March had good songs, and I want to talk about it. But as you know, sometimes I just have nothing to say. So here's some songs I have nothing to say and their ratings, anyways. Let's start with this shit already since everyone always skip intros, and so do I. Especially my own intros. Have a bad behavior, bad behavior. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you ruin a group who used to be perfect. I'll start by saying that I knew I wouldn't like this song. At the moment, I've heard the snippet, and as you can tell, I was right. I posted on my community tab that I rather an empty chorus than a chorus where they repeat the same word billions of times. And I was specifically talking about them. By casually following them since their debut, noticed that they wanted to bring something different, and for a long time, they reminded me so much of Dreamcatcher doing something new, being ignored by the masses, but keeping it going and sticking to their fans until it eventually pay off. Purple Kiss did the same, but it seems like their company gave up on being different, and as a casual fan, it sucks. Not only this is not the group I got interested on in the first place, but I don't even like the song by itself. 4. 5 out of 10. The pro chorus is still good. But the chorus ruins it all. Memum over this any day. Uno, two, set, fuego. Fire, fire. TX was a group I had my eyes on because their sound really spoke to me. Love or Die and Kick It For Now was my top songs of last year. So imagine my fear seeing them with such image and a such title. No way the boys I was planning on start to stand was about to become ordinary. And unfortunately I was right. Although I would say that the song itself is better than most that have the same concept. I can't hide my disappointment on seeing them give up on doing something different. Unfortunately, I'll have to give them a 6. I'm hoping that this is just a phase and we can pass that. Go back to the good songs and pretend this never happened. At this point, Dream is just an extension of 127. Sometimes they release something that fits their original concept of being the opposite of them. And sometimes they do this. Normally, I wouldn't care much because I like 1 to 7 songs. Gosh, they're even my own. My biggest problem is that goddamn chorus. Seriously? How can you be this lazy to make the chorus like this? It's such a cheap and lazy way to make it catchy. And looking the concept pictures, I was hoping that they would plagiarize Chill Kill. I wouldn't mind a copy paste at all. At least the rest of the album is amazing. I can't feel anything in Unknown are my babies. Anyways, 6 out of 10. Jisung's part is the only one I like because of his voice. Almost didn't recognize him. I can't be the only one who thinks that the MV gives major Heartstopper vibes. The glitters on the drums. The school vibe, the filter, the wholesomeness of the song, and yes, and not gonna lie, the rainbow too. Now when it comes to the song is when it get complicated. Nah, I'm kidding, I like the song too. Super good, super cute, nothing spectacular, but still good nonetheless, but I like hurt me less more. 7.5, someone said that this sounds like a disbandment song. And considering this is the end of the trilogy and their contract ends this rare. Gonna lie. That's making me scared. I find incredible the ability some producers have to make a perfect song. Masterpiece worthy. Just for them to ruin everything for the sake of reaction and shock value. 
must be my favorite thing ever. Especially, when you make the outro sound like it's from a completely different song. As if we were still in 2021. Anyways, with that said, I like the song. It literally sounds like, if Panzona, by Purple Kiss, were made by YG. Yeah, I'm still mad at the chorus, and especially the outro, but I can forgive this. 7.5, is a fair point. Unpopular opinion coming, but I still prefer better up. No. Because this is literally Astro and Icon Sun. They gained points with me because 1. It makes me feel nostalgic. And 2. It sounds like 3rd gen. And I'm a 3rd gen who are shallow like that. And yes. That's everything I have to say about it. 8 out of 10. You have my heart. If you make a song that came straight out of 2018. This song is a fucking crime against humanity. Sign me up for that because I'm feeling a little criminal today. This shit came straight out of first gen and still sounds recent. Like if XG went full on 90s. Love it. That's what I want. I want identity, flavor, uniqueness. I want to be surprised. Why do you think I like NCT that much? 8 out of 10 gained points with me because they have a song with BM. I'll start by saying that I hate the name of the album. You're not gonna simply erase all the 5 years y'all had with 5 members and expect me to not be bothered. Day 6 always was, and always will be 5. Now about the song itself, what can I say? It's a Day 6 song. It's nothing different. It's just a normal Day 6 song. And since I love their songs, I like this one too, at point 3, because their other songs are better. And yes, the lack of Jay's voice does make a negative difference. Only me and other 5 people recognize the masterpiece her debut bird is, so expecting other bop from her, it's only fitting, and she delivered? I never expected a pink member to do something like this, but I'm glad it happened. 8.5 When soloists go blonde, you know the shit is good. I just pick them out like mm, any mini, mini money, like any mini mini mo. So many people saying that I'm ready should have been the title, and I really couldn't care less. I like this song a lot. This is extremely different from what she did before. But she warned us beforehand so I was ready for it. Sister gave us vocals, dance, wacky instrumental, rap, attitude, a tease featuring, and y'all still wanna complain. Y'all just got too picky about her since Bicycle, 8.6 out of 10. I don't care about the public opinion about her songs anymore since y'all had the courage to ignore the bop. Killing me is... Let me say that I'm in love with Jaden's brain. This isn't your typical K-pop. This isn't your typical music in general. And I love that. What did I say early? I want identity. Uh, I want flavor. I want uniqueness. I want to be surprised. And what's more unique than that? If I had to describe this song with only one word it would be my favorite English word. Odd. 9 out of 10. I'm working on a project, and when I heard this song, I had to immediately add this song to it. What? You want to know what is the project? 